Hello guys, welcome to our channel, at Zimwatch TV, the channel that covers Zim news and stories across the globe. Corresponding to Zim I publication. President Emerson D. Manungugwa targets Vice President Constantine Chiwenga, fakes bomb scare. In alarming news, pro-opposition social media motivator, Solomon has put mistrust on the recent bomb scare at Vic Falls Airport saying that it may be a calculated move by President E.D. Manungugwa to banish potential opponent to his alleged third-term goals. President Emerson Manungugwa's allies in ZANU-PF apparently started early campaigning rallies for a constitutional reform, aiming to create the way for Manungugwa's third term in the next elections, contradictory to the current constitutional limitations. On Friday, the 1st of March, President Emerson Manungugwa's spokesperson, George Charamba, reported the president's abrupt cancellation of his Victoria Falls trip due to a credible bomb threat targeting all Zimbabwean airports. Posting on social media platform X, formerly called Twitter, Solomon Harad Zibwe alleged President Manungugwa of orchestrating a fabricated security incident, outlining parallels to past actions. He said, I don't mistrust the possibility of President Emerson Manungugwa faking this bomb scare to eradicate all potential threats to his third-term bid. He has done it before with Gukurahundi. When a hyena wants to eat its children, it first alleges them of being like goats. The motivator questioned the lawful of the provided email regarding the bomb scare, asserting that its premature release compromises potential observation. Solomon Harad Zibwe emphasized the administration's eagerness to be believed, suggesting that the priority is to establish a narrative rather than conduct a genuine inquiry. Despite President Manungugwa's abolishment of the Vic Falls trip, Vice President Chiwenga stepped in to officiate at the SA International Renewable Energy Conference and Expo. The event has lighted speculation about the length some may go to secure political durability, as President Manungugwa experiencing increasing scrutiny from both opposition and within his own party ZANU-PF. 